Lily Allen, 32, has accused James Corden of making a move on her during a live TV appearance on her former talk show Lily Allen and Friends that it aired on BBC3 back in 2008. The singer had been interviewing James and was seen engaging in a flirtatious display with the star, where she was seen jokingly telling him to just FK her before asking James whether or not he was single. However, as a clip of the chat resurfaced online, Lily has claimed she felt forced to go along with the suggestive banter, as she feared she would be branded cold or up myself if she hadn't. On the show, James had complimented Lily and told her how lovely he thought she was. He could be heard telling her, listen, just ignore all those people there, before Lily interjected, just FK me. James looked slightly shocked at a response, while the studio audience launched into cheers and whistled at the suggestive remark. Lily then said of James' initial compliment, thank you very much. That is how you get into a girl's pants. Well done James. She then went on to ask the actor if he was single, to which James teasingly replied, it's complicated. No, I am. Yeah, prompting Lily to burst out laughing. However, she has now insisted she hadn't been interested in James and felt forced to play along with his flirtation. When one Twitter user directed her to the clip of the interview and accused her of being horny for James, she hit back, No, I wasn't horny for James Corden either, he came onto me in front of a studio audience. If I'd have shut him down, I would have been labeled cold or up myself or snobbish. Corden is yet to address her claims on Twitter. Mail in line have contacted a representative for both Lily and James. Since appearing on the show, James has gone on to forge a stellar presenting career that has seen him relocated to Los Angeles to host the Late Late Show. The A League of Their Own presenter found himself condemned on social media in recent weeks after he was seen making jokes about disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein while hosting the star studded M for Gala overseas. During the night, the audience of A listers reacted to James' jokes with a mixture of groans and applause, as his lines included This is a beautiful room, it's a beautiful night here in L. A it's so beautiful, Harvey Weinstein has already asked tonight up to his hotel to give him a massage. Harvey Weinstein wanted to come tonight, but sadly he'll settle for whatever potted plant is closest. Corden came under fire for the inappropriate jibes and had taken to Twitter to sincerely apologize, insisting he hadn't been making light of the severity of the situation. James tweeted, to be clear sexual assault is no laughing matter. I was not trying to make light of Harvey's inexcusable behavior, but to shame him, the abuser, not his victims. I'm truly sorry for anyone offended, that was never my intention. His jokes, meanwhile, could have been referencing a number of alleged incidents. Women ranging from A-list actresses to relative unknowns have made allegations against Weinstein, accusing him of sexual harassment. Lily's tweet, meanwhile, comes after she was seen embroiled in a Twitter spat with Chris Eubank Jr., 28, in October, where she had made a cruel jibe in response to a video he posted with his father Chris Eubank Sr. The video sees Chris SNR tells two girls to get out of the camera shot as his son was giving a post-fight interview following his victory over Avni Yildirim in Stuttgart. It received over 12,000 likes and 3,800 retweets and didn't go unnoticed by Lily, who took offense to the way the boxer's father had behaved towards the women by shooing them away from the camera. Chris JNR posted the clip along with a message, appearing to reference Liam Neeson movie Taken, that read, To all ring girls. Do not photobomb me as my dad has a very particular set of skills. He will look for you, he will find you. Lily responded to the tongue in cheek post on Tuesday morning, stating, They are doing their job. Your dad went bankrupt and gave you to a stranger in Vegas, the only photobomber here is him. Number respect women. Chris JNR moved to Las Vegas in the US in 2006 and was formally adopted, along with his younger brother Sebastian, by divorcee Irene Hutton. However, the pair's father and mother Karen have always insisted both were allowed to be adopted to enable them access to dual citizenship as well as to further their sporting careers. 
Chris Jnr did not take kindly to the jibe aimed at his father by Lily and hit back, saying, it's sick, called banter Lily. You're well known for abusing drugs. Lily, who is often seen vocalizing her views on Twitter, stood her ground and responded I'm actually sober, but thanks and came back again in the spat, calling Chris Eubank SNR misogynistic for his handling of the situation in the ring in Germany. It's called misogyny, she replied. Are you saying people with addiction and mental health issues issues have no self-respect number big mantic? Lily's past problems with addiction have been well documented and has previously stated she is not ashamed of taking drugs in an interview with GQ magazine. I've taken drugs. I found them and find them fun, and I don't think I'm a bad person because of it, she told the magazine back in 2009. She is currently working on her new album, titled The Fourth Wall, with Mark Ronson, in which she reportedly touches on her own personal experiences of substance abuse, the breakdown of her marriage and the relationship she has with her children. She had released a track from her upcoming release titled Family Man in May, earlier this year. Lily was previously married to ex-husband Sam Cooper, whom she shares two daughters with, 